Good evening, Mr. Chair, members of the council. My name is Jim Tatum. I live 914 Southwest Riverland Court, Fort White. I represent our Santa Fe River. Probably everyone in this room knows about the recent bill passed into law to build new toll roads throughout Florida. Some of you here may think this is a good idea, but please let me tell you why we must oppose this. We cannot afford nor do we need massive new development. One proposed road goes through rural, less inhabited areas home to the Santa Fe, Suwannee, and Ishantucky rivers. This is our unique Springs heartland driver for a fast-growing tourism. North Florida springs and rivers are imperiled and dying as proven by greatly reduced flows and huge increases in nitrate pollution. Water management districts are failing to protect our water resources and our own projections and their own projections for the next few years show that we will not have enough water for current needs, let alone the development these roads would bring. Rural areas will not benefit from new roads. New highway corridors bring gas stations, motels, fast food chains, and strip malls. These generate traffic that the new road was supposed to alleviate. The new road bill was not carefully conceived nor well thought out. It did not come from the Florida Department of Transportation and the Department of uh, Environmental Protection was not involved. It is so poorly planned that one road ends near the Georgia line south of Thomasville with nothing on the other side to connect. Georgia was not even informed. The bill is the pet whim of Bill Galvano and cronies to help lobbyists from the Florida Chamber of Commerce, the Florida Trucking Association, and the Asphalt Contractors Association of Florida. It would especially help Thomas Pettifree, richest man in Florida who also contributed $300,000 to Governor DeSantis' uh, campaign. He is working on a huge development of 561,000 acres in Lafayette, Dixie, and Taylor counties, and the road to give his master development plan a huge boost. This is an area where our water needs already are not being met, nor are resources being restored. This bill was opposed by 90 different groups in Florida, and for good reason. Many of you here know and participated in the 2016 I-75 Relief Study Task Force. Delavano wants to spend $300 million to duplicate a study that was done three years ago. Your council's recommendation to the I-75 Relief Task Force is summarized as follows supported a recommendation for new transportation corridors to only be considered once significant improvements to existing corridors have been planned and programmed. This all happens also happens to be the consensus of the study. So I believe the town council is already on the right track, but please prepare to oppose this destructive proposal. A few of you here may know me as an opponent of phosphate mining. I used to think that was the industry most destructive to Florida's environment. I know now it is number two. Number one is development. Please fight this with all your might. Thank you.